What is up, everybody? You can see today's video is customer reviews and why they're important. One, two, three, four, five stars. Don't judge the drawing, it's okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, gonna get straight into it. Customer reviews are important just because, first of all, reputation is important anywhere you go with your business or you're just yourself, because that's gonna determine if people are gonna do business with you, they're gonna get your services, if they're gonna talk to you or not. Um, and also, uh, with just starting out, Using customer reviews, they can be great because you can only use them for content. You can also use them to be able to gain more business as well as uh, have people leave more reviews for you. So, for example, before you even have, you know, asking for people for reviews, make sure you have the correct platforms for people to do so. So the first one, Google My Business, so important. I see a lot of businesses online who either don't have a Google My Business or who have Google My Business and have not, um, it's called own. So we'll say like own this business. That just means they haven't validated it. That is extremely important because for example, there was a client that I was working with where, you know, focusing on their citation, not their citation, their Google My Business as well as doing some paid advertising using Google Ads. They have not, they have not claimed their, um, their, uh, their Google My Business account, which literally anyone can. So I literally, I was like, clicked on it, own this business, put into it, sent it to it, and I claimed it. Now, the reason you might you might not think about it, but there are people there who have malicious intent and can be able to do that and jeopardize your business. Because also, if you don't claim your business, then you're not able to respond to reviews. That means if people are leaving negative reviews, you're not able to respond to those. You're not able to, to see the insights. For example, Google My Business has insights on searches. They have insights on photo views, as well as how many people are searching for. So like, for example, the searches, they have insights on um, if it's discovery or if it's like people are finding you through if direct. So if it's directly searching for you or they're finding you through discovery, you can see how many times you're listing on the maps, listing on search, how many times people are calling you, what days of the week people are calling you. Uh, you can put photos on there. You, you, there's just so much you can be able to do. And there's some businesses and one of the clients that I work with, you can be able to generate leads just from Google My Business um, with strategically posting that. So I definitely make sure you, you get that. Um, I think I'll definitely, I've probably said this before, but I'll definitely do a video on um, Google My Business and kind of showing you the background of it. Um, and then also making sure you have your other citations like Yelp, Facebook, uh, let's see, Kudzu, you know, Yellow Pages. Um, all these other ones, just because you might say, okay, I don't, Emmanuel, I don't use Yelp, and that's okay that you don't use Yelp, but there's so many other people who use Yelp. Um, I had a client who, um, they have like a wine and tasting business that when we created, when we first started working with them, they're wine, wine and painting type business. Um, when we started working with them, they didn't have any citations. You couldn't find them online. But then after about like six, 12 months from what's working with them and really hammering them, like everything that we were doing content wise and also educating the owner and they're doing it themselves now, they pretty much own that niche of the wine painting and all these other things. Um, one of the things also is because of creating their citations, it made them strong just because their information was correct on all of them. Um, we found out like through Yelp, there was a gigantic audience of, of, of people there, women specifically, um, who were just customers that weren't there. I mean, that they weren't, they weren't there before, but through that creating that, they're able to go through there. Um, so again, just customer reviews are important. Because, and also when people leave a review, um, let's say you left a review on, you know, you just got your car detailed and somebody talks about um, through your business, they talk about well, how you did such a great job detailing their car. You can now take, first, first of all, you can comment that review, um, you know, thanking them, etc. Then you can even take that review, put it in a nice little graphic using Canva um, and then or any other thing. You can be able to make that into a nice little piece of content. Or you can do a little video. You can do a little video saying, hey, it's Emmanuel from Emmanuel's Detailing. Just wanted to share with you guys, you know, review that somebody left. Of course, make sure they're okay with you putting it on there and everything. Um, here's what they had to say about the polishing detail, et cetera. And then you show a little text. And then after that, show, you know, if you guys need any polishing detail, feel free to let me know. Da, 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 da. Again, it's content that you're able to use. Um, and it's just, it's just important. And also with negative reviews, please also make sure you're commenting back those Find out exactly what you can do. Don't delete them because then that just makes you just very suspect. And also um, just comment. Try to figure out what's wrong. I know there's sometimes where people just leave negative reviews so leave it, which is bad. Um, but again, customer reviews, they're important. Um, if you have any questions regarding this or kind of some of the stuff that I mentioned that you'd like me to go more detail into, please comment below and I'd definitely like to do it. Uh, these videos are great. See you later.